Um, Hi, everybody. So this is the weekly call. Um, you know, as you know, we have no agenda. I have a few things that I want to bring up. Uh, and if other people have things they want to bring up as well, um, we can do that now and I can wait on mine. So are there things on people's mind at the moment? I will start with mine then to get the ball rolling. One big um, thing is that I'll like, we have oh, Matt. Chaos Matt, can you hear me? Matt, can you hear me? Yeah. No? Yeah? I just want to summarize in Google Summer of Code at some point. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. Um, and Georg, did you have something too? I was saying that we have the ChaosCon call for participation open. Okay. We need to submit something for that. Chaos Con. Okay. We got a workshop accepted up there. All right. Um, well, and then I have kind of a newsletter thing. I'm hoping in the. Um, oh, releasing. All right, so I guess I'll start with mine. Um, one, and I'm really interested in what people's thoughts are on this. I am a little concerned that we have a lot of working groups and the working groups meet often and um, after the working groups, we hit the list with kind of an un, um, kind of an unfiltered collection of of things that were talked about in the list. And my concern is is that for all of us that are on these calls very regularly, I think the pace and tempo makes a lot of sense. But I think for the people that aren't necessarily on these calls all the time, it's a lot of information to take in over the course of the week. And I think it's a my guess is that it's a bit, bit disorienting sometimes as to when the calls are, what's going on in these calls. Um, so one of the things that I'm, I would like to propose, and I'm going to put it in the chat, is something along uh, these lines. Oh, let's see. Do you see that? I don't think it's got public access. Oh, let me do that real fast. Um, oh, yeah, it's private. Okay. Yes. And I'm going to change that to edit. So something that we send out to the list on a weekly basis, and I am happy to take this on because I wanna keep it short and sweet. Again, my concern is, is that we have, we have five working groups plus this community call. Um, and they meet all the time, which is great. I have no problem with the meetings, um, but we take minutes and then we hit the list with the minutes. And my concern is, is that it, again, it's just, it's just a lot of information for people to take on who are kind of only cursorily following what we're doing or trying to wonder how we, they can get involved or just no, want to keep up to date. This is great, Matt. I, I think the only thing I would add under resources is uh, the time and date of the next call or even just oh. maybe recurring. It's in all in events. Go to the top. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Events. I see. And I would just change it week by week. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, as, as for somebody that's been sort of absent for the past couple of months, uh, I mean, I think this is great. Uh, the only suggestion I have is rather than email, which would get buried with other notes, like is it better to just publish it on the web somehow or is that? We could do both. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. Communication is a good thing here. I would do What's both. That? Was that Kate? Over communicating is a good thing here. I, I like both ideas. Doing both. Okay. Um, the one question I've got, and I, I like I say, I'm jumping in and out like Ray is too, um, but we had talked in March about a release. Do we have yep. anything we're working towards that's visible in this newsletter? 
Not yet. But I'm just wondering if that's something we should start to. Well, if you take a look at the first thing under metrics. Did I miss it? Okay. <laughs> right now, we're a big push is towards the release of our first version of metrics. You're right. I didn't even read it. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at it. Sorry. Yeah. So it's right there. And that link is just a link to the, to the current spreadsheet that we're using to track the release of metrics. Perfect. Absolutely and, perfect. Thank yeah. you. And obviously there's a ton more detail that can go into this, but I just want to keep it really simple for people <laughs> just to. I like it. I like it. Looks good, Matt. Nice work. Thanks. Um, so then I, the, so the general, I think the general is a positive. I would send this out probably on Monday mornings would be my plan. That would be my, just so, just so we can kind of list all of the meetings that are coming up for the week. Yeah. You know I mean? So it yeah. doesn't bridge over a weekend. Um, and then yeah. the other question then is, Matt, should we, can, I'm no, sorry, did you have something, Sean? Nope. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, go yeah. ahead, Sin. Sin. It's me or? Go ahead. Okay. So I, I just wanted to say that I find the idea very interesting, Ben. Uh, maybe we are stressing too much that the way for collaboration is meetings. Uh, some people prefer asynchronous uh, communication, and maybe we are missing those people, people who cannot track all the meetings that they still want to contribute. So I suggest that in addition to all the uh, time for the meetings, maybe you can include the links to the repositories so that people can go there and check the issues and stuff. Just wondering because I'm I'm a bit concerned about the people used to work asynchronously. Maybe we are, you know, um, not counting too much them. So where would you suggest that, Jesus? To include the links to the repositories for each of the working groups, in addition to the next meeting information. So at the at the end, I think he's suggesting where you have the links to the minutes, just also include the links to the repository. Sure, I can do that. Yeah, well, uh, I, I'm, I'm talking now about the document that Matt just the same. Or on yeah, the but at the end, I have resources. I have minutes and agenda. I could just add a link to the repository as well. No, what I mean is that, uh, as it is now, if every Monday this is sent, it seems, I mean, for an external people that just joined Chaos or something, Mm -hmm. That a way of collaborating in chaos is attending the meetings, and there is no other way, because there is not, nothing else mentioned in, in this document, which is going to be sent weekly to all the world. And uh, maybe we are sending the signal that for collaboration in uh, chaos, you need to be in the meeting, and that's not the case. And that's what I'm just saying. Maybe it would be uh, reasonable to include the link to the repositories as well. So what if I just did? Like on that, see that first one down in resources? Well, it could be just adding on the on the column where you have all the um, meetings listed in the in the document that you just served. Include that. Like yeah. Yeah. But okay. That, that, I'm just wondering. So um, maybe it's a personal thing because I usually prefer to work asynchronously. Uh, I, I want to know the opinion of all of you because I also find it uh, basically what you said, people join chaos and don't know what to do. And they are a bit overwhelmed by the number of meetings. And uh, something along the lines of like here I would then. Or, or maybe maybe just a note, just saying something like you can also contribute by checking the repositories. I, I don't know. Okay, I'll, I'll play with that, but that's fine. Okay. Okay, so then this leads to my second question. Um, and and this, these would change, right? These would change every week. They're, they're not everything. <laughs> they're just pieces. They're just tiny pieces that I'm pulling out of the week. One of the things that I would need, and I, I will need it today, is if you look under software, is that the right thing to say about Grimoire Lab? And is that the right thing to say about Augur? And if it's not, I just, I need like just really quick things to say and I need it from you folks. So I would, all, every Tuesday, I would like to just write this sentence for the next Monday. Oh yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I might add, I might shift my sentence a little bit. Can you just shift it right now? I don't have edit, I have view only. Are you sure? Positive. Oh, 
I'll put it back in the chat here. I don't know. Maybe I did think I changed it. Maybe I just refresh then. Okay. Refreshing. So Matt, with respect to remote lab, if you don't mind, I'm going to think a bit about that and I can edit it later. But yeah, I, I find it quite interesting to include just a, a three-liner on, on, on. Just a super short update on Grimoire Lab. And yeah. if I don't hear anything by, say, maybe towards yeah. the end of the week, if you could do it then. No, I'm going to do it uh, right now, probably after okay. the meeting, or, or maybe while we talk. Again, just a sentence or two, no, nothing big, because <laughs> I don't want this to be a long. OK, that's fine. A long document. Um, so then that raises the. The other thing, so right now we release all of the minutes to the list. Should we continue to do that? You know what I I'm talking so. about? So like at the end of this meeting, I will take these minutes and post them to the list. Mm -hmm. And uh, Evolution does the same thing, DNI does the same thing. You know what I mean? Should, should we continue to do that? So I think so. For me, it's very valuable because I cannot be in all the meetings and this is a way for me to track in to track okay. what other groups are doing. Okay. Other thoughts on this? I think also that posting the minutes is a good tradition that we have. And I would continue that. Mm, I think we're arguing that that's overwhelming. And that, that, that was my concern. Yeah. I mean, I can see where if I was new to, to chaos and I just started getting emails from five working groups every week or two, I would, and I just had access to the minutes, it, that would be a little more disorienting than something like this. Um, not to mention, it's not like the minutes are not accessible. They're still accessible through resources. People can choose whether or not to go into them. They're all here on this on this weekly. Right. Yeah, oh. they're on the bottom of the, in the resources thing. So you yeah. have the choice rather than filling up your inbox. The problem is that if they are not in the inbox, it's very likely that we cannot see them. I mean, you need to go for them, which means that with time, probably uh, each working group is going to be a bit more apart from other working groups because there is no way that you can in five minutes, just read something, know what others are doing, is that, that you go and find for it. But if, if most of you prefer not to send the minutes, that's fine with me, so I can read them online, as, as, as you say. We kind of sound like we're split <laughs> down, down the middle. Yeah. 50-50. <laughs> can I give another opinion? Yeah. <laughs> I think that um, having an all-encompassing kind of like it's like um, elevator pitch for the whole meeting minutes for the week. We could have meeting minutes for each working group. They each provide a synopsis. And then we have that in the in the weekly summary. And then we just send that out every week. I think that's the simplest way. All right. I'm not, I guess. I, guess. Local. I think like when we send out risk minutes, and I've been the person doing that, that's we we send out like a little WG dash risk thing in it. It's on the same mailing list, but we're designating in a sense that it's for just that working group primarily or primarily mm -hmm. for that working group. Yep. Which I think gives people a signal if we sent minutes out every week that, that they can ignore those if they want to. Um, That's an easy, so, easy delete or easy filter. Right. So maybe, maybe we do both worlds. Um, I, I really like, uh, especially the rhythm to the having the, the weekly sort of here's where everything is email. Uh -huh. that's, okay. that's just so much better than trying to parse through all the different things. So maybe could I ask the working groups, and I'm guilty of this too, that when we send out our minutes to the list, we label them something along the lines of like I use WG-RISK inside square brackets for risk. And I think many of the working groups follow a similar convention. Yeah, and I don't do it for community. So it's, I'm guilty of that. Now, the, I think that the tradition was exactly that. Everything which is specific to a working group should go with WG. Something like that. But I just yeah, put like it in the chat. WG-Evolution. Yeah. WG-DNI. WG okay. Does DNI do that, Georg? I actually, without looking. 
the DNI working group has its own mailing list, so we don't have the need to specify. But do you, when you send, don't you send the minutes to the main list too? For DNI? I think I only send it to the DNI mailing list. Okay. I guess I've never really looked detailed as to which list I'm receiving them from. Okay. Um, so, well, why don't, for the time being, I'll just start this next Monday, the weekly for folks, and then I'll just ask the working groups to, again, largely for myself. Hold on a second. I was going to suggest that we send out the first draft today and then update it next week with what happened since we already have one. Sorry, I had to answer the door. Um, so that somebody, so that working groups just add that WG dash whatever. So Matt, I was just thinking that since we already have a first draft, we can send that out today. It's close enough to Monday. And just okay. start the training today. And one thing I would request to add is uh, ChaosCon CFP. I added it in events but maybe add a section also for the chaos con. And I'm happy to write it if you want me to. Would you put it under community for chaos con? Yep, we can do that. Okay, why don't you go ahead and add that and add a little logo too. It's kind of a visual. And then, Gary, you and I can just kind of loop back in um, to send this out to the list once you're done here. So, but I guess then, too, I need the stuff from Augur and Grimoire Lab. I edited it in place. Okay, thank you. Hey, Seuss, Grimoire Lab, edit. I'm, I'm, I'm adding it hopefully in a few minutes because I'm checking okay. with the developers. Just to see if there's any new items. I pulled this stuff. This was from Daniel from last week. Okay. So, so if there is anything else, you can use me. I'm, I'm trying to get an update. Okay, you get the update. Okay. Um, okay. So I think the point here too is let's keep this, keep this document simple. It can change every week. So <laughs> I don't want to make this into a whole huge long list of stuff. So we may not capture everything every week. That's just the way it is. Okay, great. Um, the next thing that I had was um, for those that, with respect to metrics releasing, I'm gonna put this in the chat. Here's the GitHub releasing markdown file that we ask, the, that I'm asking the working groups to follow with respect to a release. And thanks, Georg, for some edits. Sure, you're welcome. And so I think a lot of these should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, this is very helpful. Okay. I think the biggest the biggest thing that's being asked in here is that the um, number five is that there's consistency in naming. So I've noticed that, because I, as I'm going through all of the metrics, sometimes I notice that the, in the focus area, the name, the name listed in the table is different than the name that's listed on the detail page, is sometimes slightly different than the name that's listed in the metrics list. <laughs> yeah. See what I'm saying? So there's three spots and I think we just need to make sure that when you're doing a release, like if this is a candidate metric for release, that you just double check across all three of those spots. And then again, here's the uh, number six is that link to the spreadsheet that we're asking you to use for the releasing, that you mark the ones ready for release. 
on that sheet. Um, Georg, could you, I always forget the dates that we kind of had talked about. Was it the end of June? That sounds familiar for a draft to be distributed to the community sometime in early July. Yep. That sounds familiar to me too. Gary, do you remember? I'm gonna go through the minutes and just scroll okay. down and see what we had talked okay. about. So that would put a little pressure on the working groups. And it's, again, it's not critical that every working group has you know, some X number of metrics that they plan on releasing. The number could be relatively small, I think, for release one. It could be <laughs> different sizes for different working groups. Um, so in your working groups, I'm, I think because we're, even if we're just three weeks out or four weeks out, I'm hoping that during those weekly sessions, you can talk about this issue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so those are the two big things for me, the weekly, Oh, Garrick put the timeline out mid June to have an alpha release of metrics. So that's three weeks out. Mid July, I need final version from working groups. And then we release at the beginning of August. What's the two comment period? What does that mean? Oh, two weeks comment period is what we decided at the oh. governing board meeting. Following the mid July final version? Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you for finding that. Do we want a date around mid June and July? <laughs> or do we just want to like float mid? We give give ourselves a little wiggle room yet. Yeah, I know what mid means to you. <laughs> the twenty <20th>. fourth. <laughs> We're just starting the last week. <laughs> or, yeah, the end of the seventh, twenty twenty twentieth even or twenty first or. All right. Yeah. Fine. Twenty. The. 20th. Uh, I just pick that. It's a Thursday. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's the bitter end of the mids of June. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Thanks. Um, okay, so then to maybe to some of the other issues on here, I can find the notes. Um, Google Summer of Code. Jesus, do you want to chat about the Google Summer of Code stuff? Yes, very quickly. Uh, the working period for the Google Summer of Code starts next week. So we are, we are having the final meetings with our students uh, related to the community bonding process, which is finishing this week. And uh, expect uh, students to send weekly uh, blog posts and references to the meetings starting this week, I hope. Mm -hmm. And uh, saying I think that you are doing basically the same thing. Right? Exactly the same thing, yeah. So the bonding period ends when? Uh, this weekend. Week, okay. Yeah. And then the work yeah. starts next week? Is that yeah. the end? Yep. Right. Yeah. The work, first work day is Monday. Yeah. I got you. During, during this period, in, in our case, both students were having exams, mm -hmm. so we didn't have a lot, a lot of time to talk to them, but we, we had a couple of uh, meetings via IRC, and they okay. started to completely set up the environment for starting to be productive the day on day one. I think that they are very collaborative. They, they decided to start preparing everything to get now so that they can start on Monday directly to work. Okay. That sounds good. Great. Um, Sean, did you have anything to add with? No, we're doing that. I had the same situation where my students finished exams. I think, I think one is actually finishing exams this week. Okay. Uh, and so we've had some correspondence in Slack and a hello period where they have uh, access to our Slack channels and there's been a bit of back and forth there. So, okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Um, great. That's cool. Uh, chaos con Georg, did you want to chat briefly about that? I want to promote that we have ChaosCon again and the day before the Open Source Summit in North America, so on August 20, we will be in the same location as the Open Source Summit, which is an improvement over last year. And we are asking now for proposals for presentations, for workshops or tutorials or whatever people want to do. So 
please submit your uh, ideas. That's all. Okay. Could you put on the CFP, is there a date? We are closing the CFP in May 31st. Yep. Okay. So Friday next week. Okay, that sounds good. Oh, thanks, thanks, Jesus, for the good more live stuff. Um, and just kind of on that too, we just so everybody knows, right? We we are at the conference hotel the day before. Um, we're trying to secure support um, for things like coffee and maybe food. Um, so anyway, I think we're all set at least in terms of venue. So that's good. Um, anything else on ChaosCon? I will certainly be submitting. All right, and then um, Ray, I know you had kind of asked on a different channel with the board meeting, and yeah, I mean, I'll I'll try to set that up. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, and, yeah, I wasn't necessarily like lobbying for it one way or the other, but just just curious. Maybe we could, maybe we can keep it short, like just an hour or two. Yeah, yeah, I think that works. Um, I mean, we can even do it during the conference itself if it's just an That's hour nice. in the morning. Yeah, and then I, I think we have at least two board members in Europe, so we probably want to do it early in the morning. Yeah, I was thinking almost it was like an hour because then I could just be kind of a quick convening, see yeah, everybody. Yeah. Or, yeah, and then we'll probably hopefully see each other plenty during during <laughs> in the hallways anyway. So You're probably uh, right. Yeah. Okay, but but the answer is yes. I will. Okay. I will cool. Awesome. Um, and then also, actually, Gerard, too, on ChaosCon, I had reached out to um, folks at the LF to see if we can't set up the out-of-band registration. OK, yeah. Because I know that you had said that like a third of the registrants in Vancouver were out-of-band, like not through the Open Source Summit North America registration thing. Yeah. So I haven't heard one way or the other. Okay, thanks for the update. Yep, and then um, just so you all know, um, there is the, are you, you're all familiar with Community Bridge? I just did want to point this out. Mm -hmm. um, if you, and I have, <laughs> I haven't emailed yet to inquire, um, but we currently have $16,000 in Community Bridge. So if you go to communitybridge.org, and then click on like, um, say, make a donation. So does that mean people have donated money to us? The Linux Foundation has given us money. Okay. Yeah, so find a project to support. And then chaos is right at the top. And have $16,010. And that money, that money is specifically earmarked for like mm -hmm. interim programs and things like that? Yep. So, so we're not um, going to go out and buy chips and dip is what you're saying. <laughs> if you actually click on it, you can see on the next the next page, project goals. You see that? I'm still trying to get there. Apparently okay. there's a facility management company by the same company. Uh, same name. I just put something in the chat, Brian. Cool. That's very helpful. Do you see that? He is very helpful. I try. <laughs> I take back all the things I said. Are we, so we're at the top of the list or are we, this is just the one you picked up for us? Uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure how the, here, let me try this link. I'm not sure how well these links copy and paste. So just funding.communitybridge.org. Yeah, if you're logged in, you'll see our. Uh, okay. Like the dashboard. Oh, so how about this? Long answer to your to your question, Brian. Yes, the dollars are earmarked for particular things, like okay. mentorship, like meetups, right? Like our ability to make T-shirts, you know, stuff like that. Right. right. You can you can pick and choose. I can see that now. Okay. okay. I mean, I think Brian was, I mean, I don't, 
I think you were slightly joking about chips and dips, but if you want to spend some of that money at the chaos con, I think that's doable, right? I mean, we can't spend, we don't want to spend it frivolously, but. I don't think chips and dip are frivolous, but okay, no, no. Ray, you be you. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was thinking something more critical like beer and coffee, but. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, but. <laughs> yeah. But no, you, yeah. you, you read the intent, right? It's just that these are earmarked for certain. They are, that's correct. Yeah. And so, well, so it's, it's kind of, to be honest with you, a bit unexpected. So I, I didn't know this was going to happen from the LF. Um, what, what, what do you think if we try to allocate some of this money for the Google Summer of Code interns who came into the next CalSCON or maybe to CalSCON Europe or something like that? Yeah, so I think this kind of then raises maybe the next question. I'm actually glad I just has come up is how do we decide how to spend the dollars? Like who, <laughs> who gets to pull the trigger? Who's uh, the chairman of the board, the chairperson of the board. <laughs> <laughs> Two people on the call. Hold on. <laughs> I, I like to be very transparent and open about this. Um, so should we always bring this to the board? Is this something? Maybe we can ask. Well, I we think. Ask, Go ahead. Ryan. Sorry, is this... Ryan, Ryan, go. Well, I think that for the time being, you should at least bring it to the board, but I think that the board should probably come up with a procedural mechanism. Okay. Because that might be too top heavy. But yeah, I think the board helped them because I don't remember discussing this in the charter at all or talking about money. No. So you're probably going to have to build some processes in place. Yeah, I think the last time we talked about it was whether or not we should apply. And the answer was yes. Right. Yes. And we did, and here we've got some money now. So now next step. And now you've okay. got people trying to start a party. So you've got a problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I, completely, I completely agree, Brian. I was I was to suggest a separate team. So maybe um okay, let me I'll I'll think through that a little bit as to the quickest way to to bring that up to the board. Maybe we can do it kind of as an out of band because I don't want to wait until August. Yeah, I, I think mailing list discussion is appropriate. I mean, it okay. shouldn't be that difficult to come up with um, making this number up, like a four to five like criteria that we want to see when people mm -hmm. like make a request. And I think that could be done over email. So, Fair enough. Okay, that's yeah. a good point. Okay. I agree that email is probably the way to go here. And uh, okay. I just wanted to add also that the way I understood the community bridge terms and is when someone donates money, they can earmark it for something, but it's not required for the project to use it only for that. So we have the leeway to spend it however we see fit. Okay. But even, but, though, even though it says it in that list right there? Oh, those are just the project goals. I, I do think there's a general intent of mentoring interns and things like that, but that's a I do too. goal. Yeah, I mean, there's a breakdown here of, you know, 5% marketing, 45% meetup. I don't know where that came from. Um, it was just when I put together the original proposal. Oh, uh, okay. Is that that's okay? No, I mean, that sounds, I, I was going to say, like, whoever, like, made this up i mean i'm, I'm joking it's it, i think I this think, is reasonable but i think sarah sarah from the lf had actually put okay it no this 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 looks... i had put together those numbers oh well okay you already put together yeah. those numbers yeah, <laughs> so, yeah i mean i was going to say it's reasonable i don't think it was just like i, I don't think it was just a machine just creating <laughs> making a, numbers up yeah making <laughs> numbers up but the idea behind those numbers is that chaos con is our biggest Place where we spend money and right. bridge was created for mentoring so you probably should also have some money there and you also want some money for other things so anyway. yeah I think yeah, I mean, yeah go ahead no no I was gonna say like you know it, I I would include like chaos gun in in the category of meetups so you know sure. some of that Definitely. money I think it's reasonable to spend some of it on on our twice a year gathering but yep. okay Right on. Well, I'll kind of assemble an email to send out to the board cool. to talk about the processes for spending the dollars. Okay, cool. Um, anything else from folks? Good.
Um, all right, I'm I am good. Um, I'm good. Couple couple to do lists things. Uh, Gary and I will get that Chaos Weekly sent out today. Um, and I'm guessing all software is good. Yeah. And hey, so Deuce, you gave me a chat that said it was all good. Yep. Okay. Oh, thank you. It's, I see it's updated. All right. And then we will, I'll work to add, Jesus, I'll work to add the repositories in there as well in a clean way. Yeah, thank okay. you. All right, everybody. Uh, All right. Thank you. Thank you. Productive. Talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.